well, I'm she's not even funny. funny. She acts just she like has like mean. no talent. I don't talent. see why people she's like her. Like other black girl. Yeah, she pretty, but her forehead big as fuck. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a fuck. What's good, my nibbles? It's your girl Sally Tanya, and you already know what the fuck is going on. Happy Halloween, my nibbles. As you can see by the title for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a little paranormal, scary story time with y'all niggas. I'm in a scary spooky mood or whatever since it's halloween i was actually gonna share this story a long time ago but i just never did because i'm sorry y'all i just did my makeup i got makeup all over my hands anyways i was gonna record this story a long time ago but i never did because just for the simple fact that i don't like talking about stuff like this because i feel like when you bring up shit like this it can actually bring up shit like this you know what I'm talking about? and i don't ever want to have to experience this shit again so the first time it happened i left it where it was and i never looked back all right but today we gonna be looking back so basically i'm gonna be sharing a story with you all about the first and last time that i've ever experienced sleep paralysis this first happened to me i don't know how old i was like y'all know i'm really bad with remembering ages and years and shit like that uh but she i was in at least middle school or some shit like that right so it's bedtime and it's around christmas time at around this time that this is happening to me so of course it's bedtime so you know i put my little cute ass pajamas on you feel me and I take my little black ass to bed. So you know I'm just chilling. I said my prayers just like I would any other night, you feel me? And I lay my big ass head down on my pillow and I try to go to sleep. Now, I was almost asleep, but something in the room didn't feel right. I've never felt nothing like this before in my life. And I'm actually getting chills just thinking about it. Anyone who's ever felt a evil, dark presence knows what I'm talking about. That feeling is exactly what I was feeling. My eyes were shut. Like I said, I'm laying on my back. My eyes were shut. I'm just trying to go to sleep. And all of a sudden, I just feel like something is standing over me. I feel like one, something is standing over me. And then I start to feel like some type of pressure on my chest not too much but it kind of just feel like a baby or somebody just like put a newborn fetus on my chest so it wasn't it wasn't like crazy heavy but it was just a little bit of pressure on my chest and i'm confused so now i feel like you know somebody trying to strangle a bitch let me open my eyes and let me see what the fuck is going on before this happened to me i had actually just heard about sleep paralysis and what it is and then it just all of a sudden happened to me like a few days later so that was a crazy part about it because i had already heard about the sleep paralysis and it kind of freaked me out um me i feel like it was me i know i was talking to my nana i feel like it was me and one of my brothers and i was definitely talking to my nana and we was just asking her about sleep paralysis and stuff like that and she's the one who told me that it's called like the witch riding your back or something like that and it's very common it's happened to her plenty of times and all of that stuff so maybe because we was talking about that heavy subject and it scared the shit out of me maybe it was just like in on my mind in in the back of my head so subconsciously i kind of brought it on myself but anyways because we was just talking about that and it really freaked me and spooked me the fuck out I was scared to open my eyes, okay? I don't want to see nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because I've heard a lot of people say that, that they've seen demons and all of that rebukable stuff that I don't want nothing to do with. So I was scared to open my eyes. But once I felt the pressure, I was like, all right, bitch, open your eyes. I've watched a lot of sleep paralysis story times. Um, I've personally never heard of a story time that was exactly like mine it was nothing crazy but at the same time my nigga it was actually motherfucking crazy as fuck okay i open my eyes and my room is red my room was red the walls were red all i saw was red 
I don't want to say that I saw a demon. I don't think it was a demon. I'm a shit. It, what the fuck else could it have been? But I know I seen some type of shadow in the corner of my right eye. I can see everything that happened like right now in my head still. It's still a vivid picture. I know exactly how my room was set up. You feel me? My dresser was on like this wall right here. I mean, my bed was on this wall. My dresser was over here. My door was over there. My window was over here. And I remember seeing red walls and then uh, some type of black figure in the corner of my right eye. And I was scared as fuck, Keisha. I thought I was being possessed to some shit. My Nana never told me that she saw red. I was like, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. So I'm actually so glad that I had this conversation with my Nana before this happened to me because if I didn't, I wouldn't have known what to do in that situation. So initially I have forgot what my Nana told me cause I'm scared as fuck. And I'm really trying to figure out if this was real or if this was a dream, but it was real like I'm looking you feel me I can't move I can't move my fingers I can't do nothing but it felt so real and it was real then I remember my Nana telling me to just pray anytime that happens anytime it happens to any of y'all all you gotta do is pray believe in the prayer that you praying and it's gonna go away so I started praying to the, to the Lord above me, like, please, I'm sorry for whatever I did, for, for this to be happening to me right now, I apologize, I take it back, you know what I'm saying, on some pleasure pee type shit, and then about two to three minutes later, the pressure eased up, mind you, during the process of my praying, I closed my eyes back, because after I seen that thing in the corner, I didn't want to know what the fuck it was, so I closed my eyes, I prayed, and then the pressure came off of my chest, up of my eyes. My room was back to like dark, but you could still see, you know, your furniture in your room and shit. My nigga. And that is my sleep paralysis story. Scary as fuck, Keisha. And let me tell you something. Ever since that day, I've never had sleep paralysis ever a day in my life but when i tell you that shit scared scared the fuck out of me like i don't know if i ever told y'all before but insidious the movie insidious scared the shit out of me and i never knew why there aren't too many scary movies that really stick in my head but i think insidious really got to me because one the red face reminded me of the red walls that i seen and two, y'all know in Insidious, the little boy saw a fucking demon black silhouette thing in a corner, in the right-hand corner. I think it was in, in the right-hand corner of his room. So I think Insidious just brought me back to my paranormal, or what's it called, sleep paralysis Tom. So that is my uh, first and last time ever having to deal with sleep paralysis so yeah my niggas that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed be sure to let me know by liking the shit and going ahead and comment down below and let me know if you or anyone you know has ever experienced sleep paralysis and what the fuck happened to you have you ever heard of anyone seeing some a red wall okay everything is red have you ever heard of that shit because that's new for me um, I personally have, have never heard of anyone saying that they saw red. So I'm just trying to find someone that has seen something that I've seen so I can feel normal. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel if you haven't already. All y'all niggas can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Sully Tonya. And my Snapchat is Tony underscore 15. Until next time, my niggas. Y'all niggas stay black. And if you're not black, stay blessed, my niggas. And also, happy Halloween. And until next time, I'll be seeing y'all in my next video. Bye.